Hello and welcome to Just Event Online News of the Tire Brookaya Shito First News Headline. Buhari meets Queen of the Netherlands says is government doing its best in time of infrastructure. Kwara State Government takes the lead among states, releasing 76 million naira for Kwasida NJKS. Cardinal Governor disguising as leader, externalizing banditry, says Akiri Dulu. COVID-19 Nigerian record two deaths, 377 new cases Wednesday. And on sports, ref begin probe of Olympic doping saga, someone sports minister. Now the news in details. President Muhammad Buhari on Wednesday said that his regime is doing its best to develop the right infrastructure system. This is as he said that Nigeria is aware of a limitation as the emphasis on building infrastructure. Buhari said this on Wednesday during a bilateral meeting with Queen of Netherlands, Maxima Zoregruta, at the margin of the United States General Assembly meeting in New York, USA. He added that the country was hampered by resources despite being oil exporting and that with more financial wherewithal infrastructure works would be speed up. While we assure the Queen who last visited Nigeria in 2017 that if she returned she would see a lot of differences, adding that just like Oliver Twist, Nigeria could do with more help in the area of investment, particularly in the agricultural sector. The Kwara State Government has released the sum of 76 million naira to the Kwara State Community and Social Development Agency for the commencement of the NGKS program in the state. The State Commissioner for Finance, Ms. Oyeyemi Olasumbo Florence, disclosed this while declaring open a two-day workshop for the Project Management Committee for Sakosi, Opakusa, Temidiri, Sholu, Bodesadu and Bubu communities held in the law in the state capital. According to her, the state government is a step ahead even before the disbursement of the NGKS fund from the World Bank. Commissioner further called on the benefiting communities to be accountable and justify the fund received from the Kwasida NGKS for the benefit of people in their domains. The Ondo State Governor, Mr. Rutimi Akiridulu, has chided his counterpart in Kaduna State, Malam Nasir Erufai, over his previously stated comment on anti open grazing law. Erufai had described the anti open grazing laws being signed by some of the southern governors as unrealistic. In the statement titled Anti Open Grazing, Erufai attacks on southern governors devious a hysteric flow to externalize banditry. Akiridu retaliated that the anti-open grazing law, especially in Ondo State, had come to stay, saying it shall be zealously guided and cautionably deployed to, to protect all residents of Ondo State, notwithstanding their ethnic and religious biases. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, has said that two persons died of complications from the coronavirus infection in the country on Wednesday. The center, in an update on its Facebook page late Wednesday night, made known that 377 new cases were also reported across 15 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. NCDC noted that the infection toll has raised to 203,081 cases while the death toll now stands at 2,666. It also noted that the total of 191,609 Nigerians have been discharged nationwide while 8,806 are currently ill. A breakdown of the NCDC data shows that Lagos reported 17 new cases followed by the FCT with 67 cases, while Kaduna recorded 38 to rank third on the lock. Edo, Rivers and Delta reported 36, 28 and 23 respectively, followed by Kwara with 22 cases, Ondo 18, 17, Plato with 17, while Oyo State with 16 cases. 
Also, the North Central State of Benue recorded 12 cases. Ekiti in the Southwest recorded 10 cases. Gombe in the North with 8 cases. While Imo State reported 3 cases, the Gawa confirmed 2 cases to rank the last on the log. Last on the news is spot. The House of Representatives has begun investigation of the disqualification of Nigerian athletes at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic over alleged doping. The House invited the Minister of Youth and Sports Development Sunday Diary to come and explain the preparedness of Nigerian contingent for the Olympics. The resolution followed the unanimous adoption of a motion at the plenary on Wednesday titled Need to Investigate Activities of the Federal Ministry of Sport and Youth Development on Fake Doping Tests by Nigeria Athletes at the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Consequently, the House resolved to invite the Minister of Youth and Sport to brief the Committee on Sports Level of Nigerians compliance with extant regulations set by the International Association of Athletic Federation and the Independent Anti-Doping Arm Athletic Integrity Unit. The House also urged the Sports Ministry to put necessary measures in place to ensure compliance with extant regulation at both local and international competition while mandating the Committee on Sport to investigate the immediate and remote cause of the failed doping test to foster future occurrence. We have come to the end of the news update on just event online TV. Here is the recap of the story. Buhari meets Queen of Netherlands says its government doing its best in terms of infrastructure. Bora State Government takes the lead among states, releases 76 million naira for Kwasida NGKS. Cardinal Governor disguising as leader, externalizing boundaries, says Akiri Dulu. COVID-19, Nigeria record two deaths, 377 new cases, Wednesday, and a sport. Red begin probe of Olympic dope, doping saga, summon sports minister. Thank you for watching Just Event Online News Update. The human body has been designed to resist an infinite number of changes and attacks brought about by its environment. The secret of good health lies in successful adjustment by changing stresses on the body. Visit www.justeventonline.com for more updates. Visit www.justeventonline.com for more details of the news and follow us on our social media handles with a tab at Just Events Online for more updates. I have Rukoya Shitsu. Thank you for watching and good night.